Hi there, my name is Dr. Jojo. It's really nice to meet you. Welcome to your eye exam. Let's go ahead and get started. Just tell me which of my fingers are wiggling, left or right. Good. Very good. Mm hmm Fantastic. Great. Now just say there when my fingers leave your field of vision. There. Right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. Good. Very good. Follow the light. Just follow the light. Good job. Just follow the light. Good. One more time. Great. I'm going to put on a lens and I just want you to say number one or number two, okay? Here is number one, and here is number two. Number one, or number two. Which of those two do you like more? Great. But next, I'm gonna check your pupil dilation. I'm gonna cover one eye right here. And all we're just going to do is see if your pupil can dilate. Good. Very good. Great. And just the other one. Good. Good. Very good. Well, it looks like your sense of vision is in fact working. Congratulations. I'll see you next time. Well, good evening. My name is Jojo, and I will be your royal magician this evening. But first, I need a deck of cards. Allow me to show you some of the dark arts that I've been able to learn over my time as a magician. First, let's shuffle the cards like so. Give the cards a great mix. For this magic trick, I need you to select a card. So say stop whenever you want. Say right there, for example, remember this card, the Nine of Hearts. Watch, I'll take it and insert it into the middle, but if I snap, the Nine of Hearts jumps up to the top. I'll do it one more time. It goes into the center, but if I snap and wait, it jumps up to the top. And this is how the card trick works. The card, no matter how many times I place it into the center. It will continuously jump up to the top like so. Just a cut and a snap, and it's back to the top. Now here's where the thing gets very interesting. Say stop whenever you want. If you say stop here, you will still stop at the Nine of Hearts. How about this? I'll give the cards a shuffle and cut to, say, right here. And yet, even so, your nine of hearts jumps out and shuffle it into the deck, like so. Here's when it gets interesting. Tell me, what color is this card? The nine of spades, black. What color is this card? The seven of clubs, black as well. And what color were the back of the cards? Blue. Let's try this one more time. What color is this? The nine of hearts, red. How about the eight of hearts, red? And what color were the back of the cards? Did you say that they were blue? Because if you were paying close attention, you'd realize that these cards are actually red. In fact, they've been red this entire time, except for one card in the deck. Your Nine of Hearts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey, I heard you needed a quick little haircut and shave, right? No worries, I got you. Let's go ahead and wetten up your hair. Just relax. Okay, very good. I'm using two different blades for this quick little haircut and trim. First, I have this tiny little blade. That'll be for the more precise cuts. And I have this big daddy. So just relax and let's get started. Your hair grows really quickly. Can I just 
I say. Even I had to get a haircut as well, yeah. Just relax and enjoy. Hey, welcome to the interview. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions before you accept your enrollment? Great. All right, can I just get your full name quickly? Good stuff. And what's your date of birth again? Mm -hmm. Cool, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your resume that you submitted to work at our firm. Let me just quickly confirm that you worked at McDonald's, apparently, according to your uh, resume here. Uh, how long did you work there for? Uh -huh. uh, how would you describe your, you know, employment at McDonald's? Mm -hmm. Pretty greasy, yeah. Sounds about right. Um, how do you feel like you work with other people in the workforce? Do you think you're a good um, team player? Would you say that you're uh, easygoing? Mm -hmm. Okay, great stuff. And uh, have you ever been laid off or has uh, one of your jobs ever been terminated in the past? Mm -hmm. Do you have a criminal background by any chance? Uh, yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Okay, and uh, how would you describe your attitude when you come to the office first thing in the morning? Great, that's exactly what we are not wanting, so... Okay, um, let's say it's 5 p.m. on a Friday afternoon. You want to go home, everyone wants to go home, but the boss calls you over to uh, see if you can stick around to get some of those paperworks uh, filed in. What's your first response? Exactly. I like that, that sounds pretty promising, I guess. And uh, other than that, uh, what are your thoughts on human resource operations and the interdependence of the uh, finance faculty? Okay, good stuff. Alright, well, thank you so much for that. I think that's pretty much all the questions I have for you this evening. Um, I will get my assistant, Deborah, to give you a phone call should you get the job. But uh, we very much look forward to hoping to uh, hear back from you. So, uh, thanks for coming. See you later. Good evening. I heard you needed to purchase some fragrances and perfumes. Well, no worries. I've got you covered. The first fragrance that we have for you to smell is the Golf Blue. This has a very aromatic scent to it. Give that a whiff, will you? Mm, has that very fragranty scent to it, doesn't it? Mm hmm Excellent. The Enduring Man. This is a very pungent fragrance. I would only recommend it if you have a tendency to have an interesting scent. Here you go. Pretty good, right? Great. Next, Aqua Sage fragrance. One of my personal favorites. 
this has a very citrusy sort of scent to it. I think you will agree. Mm, very citrusy. Give that a smell. Quite nice, right? Okay. And finally, for the last fragrance we have the Purple Widowmaker. Interesting name, I know, but I didn't make it. Let me know your thoughts. Mm. It's quite nice, isn't it? Well, let me know which of these four frequencies you would like to purchase this evening. And with that said, thank you so much for coming on down to the fragrance store. Yo, are you here for the uh, tattoo consultation, right? Uh huh. Did you have an idea what you wanted? Dope. All right. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of those designs. Just give me a sec. Let me just check. Here, uh, take a look at these. You might like some of them. Whilst you're looking at those tattoos, I just gotta go ahead and uh, read you out the waiver, then I have to read everyone. Um, do you have any pre-existing medical conditions? Uh -huh. Are you taking any antibiotics or prescribed medication? Okay, do you have any health conditions I should be aware of? And are you 18 years or older? Cool, all right, yeah, I know, we're just gonna read those out, all right, well, if you uh, know what it is that you want, let's get to work. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, put some solution on the area. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So just sit back, relax, and uh, let's get this tattoo on, shall we? This might hurt a little bit. Yeah, this one I got um, a few years ago. Should just be a little bit more. What do you reckon? Yeah, it might hurt for a little bit for the first few days, but uh, give it some time and uh, you'll feel like a million bucks. All right, well, enjoy your tattoo. Hey there, welcome to uh, welcome to the game store. What can I, uh, what can I get for you today? Looking for some um, Nintendo stuff, okay? Let's see, we have enough system. Wanting, uh, Joy Cons for the Nintendo Switch. That's all, no worries. Um, sorry, friend. I'm just look at the same stuff. Yeah, we got them. Yeah, we have uh, have some um, have some Joy Cons. These are second hands, so I'll get you a real good price for them. Um, oh, sorry, they're about tangled, but um, don't worry. We do it for a good price for you. Some red and blue Joy Cons. So you might really want those. I'll put your to the side. Um, anything else like Nintendo Switch related you want? You want, you want Mario? Mario Tennis? Yeah, sure. See the new Mario movie's pretty good, right? Yeah, we got, um, got Mario Tennis in stock. This is a brand new copy. So, um, well I can, give you this one for a good price as well because you're really you're really awesome um anything else you want to get the mario kart 8 deluxe wheel uh, you should have those in stock one of these so uh, you get the you get the wheel and uh you can put your joy con into the switch into the um the wheel and you can like it like it's like a real car, it's pretty cool. So, uh, 
please you're uh, going on half price for the special sale we're having so you uh if you buy one you get a free uh charging station for your pro controller so uh if you buy that today you also get this this is really good for charging your uh your pro controller so i'll throw this one in for free for you no worries no worries okay so they'll come down to uh that'll come down to twenty five dollars and seventy three cents mm -hmm. okay you want to pay by card no problem. Okay. Well, thank you for coming to the game stop and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, good evening. Welcome to the spa. How can I help you today? Oh, you had a reserved booking? No worries. What's your name? Fantastic. Let me just see if that's in the system. Fantastic. I've got you scheduled for right now. Go ahead. Take a seat yourself at home. First thing we're going to do is just pour some natural Evian water on your face. Mm -hmm. And I have this specially crafted face sponge. Just going to pat, 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 pat. Go ahead and just exfoliate the skin of any particulates, any debris, oil, dirt that's accumulated on your face, so you can relax. Good stuff. Relax, make yourself at home. Next up, I'm going to be applying a face massager to your skin. And all we're doing is just massaging the skin on the face. So just relax. enjoyed your stay and uh, we'll see you next time toodles good evening and thank you for participating in this scent smell examination my name is dr. Jojo before you I have a bowl of wooden fruits you can see I have an apple a pear an orange, a watermelon, and a banana. Now, each of these fruits' scents have been swapped around with each other, and your job is to identify which scent each fruit produces. They won't be what you see. For example, upon cutting open this apple, it may not smell like an apple, and your job is to identify which of the other fruits this scent has. Let's begin. Let's cut open this apple. What smell do you get from this? Banana. Very good. Moving on, shall we? I have the watermelon. What scent? does this watermelon emit? Good job. The apple. Next, I have the banana. What scent 
does this banana produce? The watermelon, very good. Have the pear. What scent does this produce? The orange, very good. And I have, of course, the orange. And what scent does this orange emit? The pear. Great job. You do, in fact, indeed, have a sense of smell.